learning more tonight about a deadly crash involving eight kids and teens in Butler County. A 15 year old passenger died in that crash yesterday evening. Our own Evan Millward is live just outside Edgewood High School right now. And Evan, that community and the school are both grieving tonight. Hey, Craig, we've learned in the last hour that this now touches across the board here at the Edgewood City School District. Hallie Deaton was killed in that crash. She, she was a passenger in a Mustang there. She was a sophomore here at the high school. There were three other high school students in that car, and the district now says there were three elementary school students in the truck they hit. The truck is in a field and the car is off the road and it hit the telephone pole. Tuesday evening on State Route 73, just one mile from the high school. One is unconscious in the back seat right now. Nine people, eight of them aged 16 and younger, are involved. A 16-year-old was driving a Mustang that crossed the center line and hit a Silverado turning onto Weir Road. It was driven by a dad with three kids ages 4 to 11 inside. A passenger in that Mustang, Hallie Deaton, died later from her injuries. Deputies say she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. The thing that really sticks out about Hallie is she always wanted to make people smile. At First Baptist Church, Pastor Tim Smith. This entire community has been impacted by this. Remembers a girl in his congregation who lit up church and youth group and the volleyball court. They could be having a, a bad game, and but she, she, it didn't bother her. Katie Folks is a family friend and set up the GoFundMe page for the Deatons. It, it's tough. When something like this happens in our community, it's tough for everybody out there. Her daughter was friends with Hallie. She's very outgoing. Uh, she had a lot of friends at Edgewood. Um, she's a great person all the way around. And Katie just told me right before we came on the air that there will be a vigil for Hallie and her family to support them. It's tomorrow night at 730 here at Trenton City Park just across the way in the city. They are asking everyone to wear red. That was Hallie's favorite color. We're live in Trenton tonight. I'm Evan Millard, WCPO 9 News.